I wish I could re redo why I love the game because stories like Matt Carpenter are why I love the game. He was on his family's ranch, didn't know when he was going to put on a uniform again. Bam, pinstripes, short porch, love and life. And it could not happen to a better guy, d -Row. Yeah, he worked hard to find that swing again. Yeah, Lauren, this is the good stuff, yep. right? Three-time All-Star. One of the better players in the National League for an extended period of time. And then it fell off a cliff and he went into abyss, but he didn't quit on himself. Ken Rosenthal wrote one of the coolest columns, February 23rd on The Athletic. Go back, kind of his quest to refine his swing. He went to work with Tim Laker. I mean, he works with Nolan Arenado. He's worked with other guys as well. He worked with J.D. Martinez's guy. He took it out to Oklahoma State to work with his old teammate, Matt Holliday. But it all started with a phone call to Joey Votto. And Joey Votto was on vacation, and Matt Carpenter said, hey, give it to me straight. Like, I want honesty. Can I reclaim this? I watched you be one of the best players in the National League and then kind of take a downturn, and then here you came again. And Joey Votto kind of said... I hit him with some brutal truths. You're doing some things that maybe you need to kind of look into maybe changing a little bit. And he was willing to bite the bullet, minor league deal with Texas, go down to the bushes again, and then what happens? Good things happen to good people, and he's kind of refound it. So I want to dive in a little bit because he has been awesome. The mustache for days. I am into <laughs> all of it. So I'll take you back. St. Louis Cardinals, he was one of the better players on their team for an extended period of time, culminating in 2018, where he hit 36 bombs and 81 RBIs, okay? You don't just do that in the big leagues. So in 2020, when he was going through that downturn, I got a chance to go down and do 30-30. And I took him in the cage. And it's amazing kind of the different things he was thinking at the time. This was a guy who was a pole monster, kind of fell in love with the launch angle and trying to get on a dish and pull everything. And in 2020, we talk about tinkering all the time. Take a listen to what he was gonna try and accomplish going into that season. The biggest thing that I had issues with last year was getting into this position and from coming here, off backside. coming off my backside and immediately dropping and spinning. Okay. For me, that, that was the biggest thing. I can't cover the ball. Obviously, I can't cover the ball away doing this the ball's in i'm gonna you know fillet or lift or roll over depending on the speed of the pitch so for me all spring and all off season my big thing is getting myself into that good position where i'm back i'm on my back side i'm loaded and now from here i'm already inside the baseball i just got to take a good direct path to it all right pause this real quick because i don't think he's doing that in a yankee uniform so what was he talking about Getting off his backside, I do it from a right-handed side, right-handed hitter side. So getting off his backside, he felt like he was getting to his front side, losing all his power. Why do you load in baseball? You load to get into your back knee and your back hip, and you want to hit from back here. You want to drive off your backside. If you're dive hitting, it becomes very handsy at times, and you're not as powerful. But what he was doing in the depths of this article, he, and we will get into a side-by-side, -side, he was almost getting out on his front side and then locking his knee out and getting very rotational. So in his mind, he had to get back to try and hit the ball out, up the middle the other way. But what he really needed to do was change the way he thought about his lower half and creating lag, creating almost what we talk about with J.D. Martinez, that tossing of the Frisbee with the top hand back here, this, instead of out on his front side, spinny with the barrel, barrel in the zone and out of it. And you'll see it when we get into it. And what is he doing here? He's not trying to work the ball the other way. He's connected, run this, boom. Mm. But he's creating lag. Run that back real quick. So take me through this slow. Gets to his backside, pause. I mean, you're in your most powerful position right there. Everything is synced up. He is into his back hip and his back knee. Watch his weight transfer. He's not coming forward to hit this ball. He is spinning, boom, creating lag and torque. And he has been awesome. What an unbelievable story to kind of watch him get locked in. None of these balls, he's not thinking shoot it up the middle the other way over to shortstop's head. Oh. That short porch is working for him. He is on the dish. 
but his upper half and lower half are connected. And when we get into this side-by-side, -side, it's clear as day what his teammates, past teammates, have been able to help him with, what some of the hitting coaches have been able to help him with. Lock in on this. Lock in. Just focus on St. Louis real quick for me. Don't even look over there. Run this. I mean, how, you can't oh, hit wow. like that. You see it? Run that back for me real quick. I want you to focus on he's going to drift forward. This front leg is going to lock out. It's going to lock out, and then all he can do is spin. There's no athleticism in this swing. He's completely lost. Pause it. Run it real slow. Right there. Boom. You're dead. It's over. Wow. As opposed to run this back. I'm staying behind the baseball. I'm connected. My front leg's more athletic, and I'm driving off my back knee and back hip. I'm so happy. It's been so awesome to watch him. No, it okay. Really is. First players with six home runs, first seven hits of the season in the modern era. Trevor Story, we remember that in 2016 when he came up against, especially against Zach Granke, he was shooting him multi homer game, and then Matt Carpet there. So. Anybody could have had him. Yeah. Anybody could have picked him up. He fits perfectly. So I don't think, every, you know, I think the park plays into it. I think he's got his confidence back. I think he's loving life right now. And uh, I think he's going to expect some big things for him the rest of the way.